Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So, and having completed our structural model, let's carry on and begin with the generation of the corresponding detail drawings. Nevertheless, and before we proceed, worth mentioning that in advanced steel, and just like with many other tools, there is more than one path we could take for completing a particular task, or in this case, obtaining the detailed drawings of our structural model. As we have seen in previous videos, Advanced Steel presents us with several palettes and tools within them, and there isn't any particular order in which we should use any of them, as this depends on the type of drawing that we need to obtain. However, and given the scope of this course, there is a basic approach that we may take, and that could also give us the easiest and fastest way to generate the main detailed drawings of our model. Then, the first step, and as you may remember from previous videos, is to carry out the numbering of the structural model. Namely, the numbering of the multiple parts and assemblies that integrate the model. Now, this step not only will allow us to properly label those elements through the different drawings, but to establish the relationship between the single parts and assemblies in our model. Furthermore, it will also help us to define the type of drawings that we may obtain by resorting to many of the automatic drawings generation tools that Advanced Steel provides. Let's begin, for example, by generating the drawing corresponding to one of the angles in this simple assembly. For this purpose, let's go to the Output ribbon and bring up the Drawing Processes palette. And once in this palette, let's continue by going to the correct category. In this case, and since we are trying to obtain the detailed drawing of just this angle, we should go to the Selected Single Parts category. Now and before we continue, don't forget that a single part needs to both exist within an assembly and have been properly classified. Namely, that the tools contained within either of these categories won't work for obtaining the detailed drawings of just any random 3D element in our project. So let's carry on and select the single part whose detailed drawing we want to obtain. Or, once again, this angle. And with this now selected, let's return to the Single Parts category and choose the type of drawing that we need to obtain. For instance, this first option will place multiple views of the selected part within an ANSI A sheet. Now, and just to clarify, the specific number and types of views that will be generated by using any of these options are defined through specific templates within Advanced Steel. Then, let's click on OK to confirm this configuration and obtain our first set of drawings. Let's just wait for this process to finish. Here we have then the detailed drawing of the angle, and which, as you can observe, already has all the corresponding dimensions and labels. So, and as you can tell, Advanced Steel has done most of the work. Nevertheless, and if we need to perform any changes or add further elements such as dimensions, labels, and descriptions, we may do so by resorting to the tools found in the Labels and Dimensions ribbon. Now, these tools are very similar, although not the same, to the ones belonging to AutoCAD, and are, for the most part, self-explanatory. For instance, we may use the Insert Label tool for inserting missing labels for any of the elements contained within each view. So, and as we mentioned earlier, the particular way in which the dimensions and labels have been automatically placed for each view has to do with the specific template used for generating each of them. Namely, that this particular way in which both dimensions and labels have been placed within each view is what we call the labeling and dimension placement strategy, and which is defined through a specific template. If you wish to know how to generate your own templates and create your own labeling strategy, please refer to more advanced courses of this series. Nevertheless, and if you need to change the aspect of either the labels or dimensions, you may quickly do so by double-click on any of them. At this time, there isn't much else that we need to do regarding this drawing. Since, and thanks to Advanced Steel, this already exhibits most of the details that we need.